Welcome back, and then there were nine. Ann Hicks of Kalamazoo has sliced and diced her way to the top nine on Master Chef Legends, the show you see right here on Fox 17. They say if you can't stand the heat, well, get out of the kitchen. Apparently, Ann likes it hot. She joins us live this morning to get us up to speed on her wonderful journey. Good morning to you, and congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Good morning, guys. I'm so happy to be with you again. All right, Todd, you, you've been following the show a little bit throughout I, the I years. I love this and... show. I absolutely do, just because I, I just love cooking at home. So you gotta be, you got to tell us about these challenges. I mean, I see some of the stuff that you guys are doing on this show, and I think they got to give them more time than that. I mean, there's just no way. But talk, talk about these crazy, ch the monkfish, the dessert, the meat, all these challenges. So, you know, honestly, they don't give us more time than that. Um, but what they do do, a little behind the scenes, is they give you about 15 minutes cookbook but that is it on the show there's no cookbooks to get to go on set with you anything like that so you have time to really in a time of hand prepare something in your head that might make sense but truly the first time we are seeing those dishes of what we're going to make is the first time you guys see it wow so that's it what we're seeing is the first time they've made it that's it that was one take yeah. And there's the food. You see people like, and it's always, somebody's always running out of time. I, I know it's a competition, but do you find yourself with this legend show really becoming friends with your, your fellow contestants? Um, there are some lifelong relationships that I've made on the show that, um, I mean, it really is such a unique situation. You guys, you're going into a place where you truly are in a bubble, and nobody at that time understands what you're going through but the people next to you. There's no talking to home. There's no outside contact. So, yes, the bonds are very real, and there's people I will remain close to for the rest of my life. And you really need to know how to take some criticism, right? You are amongst legends in there as far as those judges and stuff. I mean, you're, you have to learn to take things with a grain of salt. Ultimately, every single judge that comes into that, uh, into that, you know, on with us, they care about us. They genuinely want us to um, to say, excel and do well. But the fact is, this is a reality show. So this is a reality show. So if they're going to give it to you, they're going to give it to you. But I will tell you, behind the scenes, every single judge that we ever had came on the on set with us, including the three main judges, would get right behind there and teach you what they know. They really want all of us to be successful. Yeah, they want you to be successful, but what we see on camera from Gordon Ramsay sometimes can be a little bit harsh. Tell us he's a big softy off camera, right? He's like a big dad. Um, the way that he treated us was truly with a tender heart. He really cared. Um, there was times when people were in a point of crisis in the middle of the cook, and he went back there and said, no, 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 we can add this, and he really would really quick teach you how to edit change things around, get behind really the stove with you. And um, the ultimate goal for him was to make sure that we were successful and that we were, you know, we enjoyed what we were doing. We gave up a lot to go on that set and he made sure that it was fun always. Well, and finally, and one quick question for you, Ann. Is there any type, is there a skill that you, that you just knew you were gonna need some help with that you've now mastered because of this? I mean, you, you've got to have improved. Well, see, also, a little behind the scenes, is they also put us into cooking classes. So people are like, they often ask me, how did you know how to make that? There's a lot of onset screen time, but there's just as much of them dedicating time to us behind the scenes, teaching us. That way we are prepared, right? Because the point is, is we're coming. We are home cooks. We're not chefs. So we're people who have a passion. So these cooking classes help us excel. And yes, so there's many skills, including making homemade pasta, um, canelling. There's so many things that when I went on there, I was absolutely an amateur, and now I would like to say I'm a master chef. <laughs> well, in my eyes, anybody that makes it this far in any of these shows is already a winner, but what's the grand prize? What's, what's everybody eyeing on this show? So beyond the weekly prizes that they're giving for the person who wins, the eye of the prize is a $250,000 check plus an entire kitchen full of Viking cookware. I am ready for it. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> well, we're so excited for you, for sure. And we're rooting for you as well, Ann. Yeah. We, we can't uh, support you enough. Uh, hopefully, we'll be doing another update and well, maybe a victory lap. Who knows? you got to watch MasterChef Legends right here on Fox 17. Wednesdays, let's see, what is that? Tonight. That's tonight at yeah. 8 p.m. And we look forward to watching you tonight. Thanks for the time. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. You as well. Hey, don't forget this MasterChef Live thing mm -hmm. as well. That's coming to DeVos Performance Hall Wednesday, November 17th. You get to see some of these chefs do their stuff right there on stage. Tickets now on sale at MasterChefLiveTour.com. That'd be cool to see. Hey, coming up.